Hello everyone, it's Senior here and welcome to another tier list video. Um, no, on the YouTube poll I posted like two days ago, I asked you which tier list do you want to see first. So there was best Luxor was best Packer 2 levels, best Packer levels, levels, best Luxor levels, and best Luxor 2 levels. So the winner is best Luxor mods, and there we are with the Luxor mods. So there's not all the Luxor mods. I only took as a. It's, it's this is not my tier list, but this is from uh, NDB. So thanks to him to made this tier list, and there are some pretty good mods. They are my mods that will obviously review since it's their mine. Uh, I will give my. Op about my mods, I will give my opinion uh, from a point of view where I'm not the creator, I'm just a player that played the mod. Uh, so, yep. And uh, there's on the letters got replaced by pre prepare to die, actually, kinda hard, and now he will try attention required, which haven't played finished, can judge. So, I think I'm gonna keep this like this, because this is ranked as difficulty, so I'll just modify them like. Uh, what is the thing? Um, very good mod. Yep, very good mod. I just modify them good. Nicely good. Maybe I feel will not use those all, uh, all of them. I'm just decent. Decent. Weak. I think I keep weak maybe. Yep. Yep, I will I will keep this one for weak and haven't played finished talk and judge. So let's start with Control the Infinite by Shipocalypse Dom. So Control the Infinite 2. Uh, I f I haven't played that much the first game, the first mod. Uh, I've played the the two. All the the second game, the second mod. It was pretty nice. It was pretty cool, pretty nice. It was. It's, it's fluent, it's like it's, it's sweet to play, it's not too difficult, not too hard, you can get stuck like for an eternity on a level. I think out someone 12-3, there's someone who may watch the video, so hello. <laughs> but the story is okay, but who plays mod for stories, honestly. Uh, good levels, the levels are, are nice, they are quite uh, uh, they are diverse, they are pretty good um, some levels are quite questionable some path I'm thinking of some, uh, I don't remember that much the level because it has been like 2 years I've been in this mode I think, so not that much uh, all I can say about Control the Infinite is it's a cool sequel, it's decent, it's fun to play, it's sweet, it's not, it's not a long mod since Control the Infinite is originally uh, Zuma but it looks so about m well done uh, it's stage Zuma mechanic like you have only one long train of spheres and when your progress bars fill up the spheres are st stopped to, to come and you have to destroy the rest this this thing this kind so control the infinite i put it in nicely nicely good and it's kind of i said it's kind of easy will not get stuck anywhere second mode is dumb investigation for the sec not no investigation dumb quest for the sacred potato so this mod was a huge it was a good success back in the day in 2017 it was the hardest mod. Before the hardest mods were like uh, the space journey, but um, uh, it's pretty for the sacred potato. It's done 
expedition of the sacred potato not quest from the divine i'm confusing because i've had recently a lot of the psoc with the afterlife so that's why but don't mind that really <laughs> don't mind just i'm just uh perturbed by by the psoc with the afterlife but um in the hard mode i some troubles uh, when i played it and as a little uh story about the demo of the of the mod uh, I have recorded the demo of the mod like when the demo was out but I never posted it because uh, I think I watch quit uh, like at stage 3 of the demo and I couldn't finish it, finish it because I game over already on it I didn't have the faith to continue so I never uploaded the video to YouTube so you will never see the mod demo oops but overall uh, the levels were, were cool, I liked some levels like the last level, the, the sugar cane level that was kinda crazy at first but cool. There are some obviously some pretty boring level, I'm not gonna lie. But I liked a lot the blown away level, also uh, kinda difficult, it's not for beginner players, totally not. The I haven't. I will probably do the core mod uh, soon, and I think this mod is cool. It's decent. It's it was some kind of second or the third mod of from Dom. So that's it was a good improvement from Control the Infinite and Pharaoh's Revenge. So don't even think for the sacred potato. I put it in uh, good. And now we have a second, a third DOM mod. <laughs> DOM investigation for the missing ship. This mod, okay, the hardest mod ever created. You will see, this is not the hardest, but I will explain. When it was released, it was the hardest. It was t so hard that DOM had to do a patch that nerfed some levels, like 7-2, Trimit Size, and 10-4, I think. And what, when I did my let's play on the game uh, last year, uh, I had I had a game over on stage seven, and I had the possibility to play on a lower difficulty that another mod didn't had the chance. The mod is like near is next to a inner to mixer. You will see this mod. I will not speak nicely about this mod next to inner to mixer and your circumference. Totally not. But let's let go back to Tom Infidential of the Missing Ship. It was a nice improvement from the from for Sacred Potato. The story was cool and of course this type of investigation you have to ask the ships of uh, where uh, this guy you want and you get clues and you uh, figure out that disclaimer this you don't have spoiler about mods all the mods below if they are story or not but if you don't want to have stories get out if you want to get uh, spoilers get out if you want don't want to explore it, you get out. So, it was the hardest mod. Uh, it was harder than Galaxy Space Journey, of course, uh, because Galaxy Space Journey did remove one color from the game, so it was kind of easier to manage. But, but uh, Missing Ship had all the colors, and the Challenge Warriors mod in the, the hand for Lily was. I haven't tried it. I, ha I do have tried it on my side, I never in any video. I'm currently on stage 2 only because some struggles and I can say it's hard, it's like very 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 hard and thankfully there is a difficulty to uh, easy and normal and, and to lower difficulty and try to get on so besides that the levels were great, they were fantastic I liked a lot the, um, the volcano levels they were for me uh, very cool the music used was it fit the mod, of, of course, and uh, overall, the good mod, challenging, and pretty epic. I put it on good also, because why not? So, yep, the good mod. And now we have Dom's Return to Pizza Island and Beyond, the first fully Luxor 2 mod ever released. I absolutely love this mod. The, it was 
it's just amazing the work that has been done on the mod it's very i think it took like one year 12 months 11 months to to develop the mod it was an astonishing work on uh, all the stories of levels especially the levels because modding luxor 2 isn't easy at all compared to luxor Moon rising this is the when the mod was before the mod was released it was already a, a hype but when it was released it was a hype as you can see i did uh, an episode every day except when i started to uh, school was kind of slowing down my run so i the uh, passion astralized tri trials though it kind of slowed down but i managed to beat it like almost one year ago uh in summer in july so yeah everything is very cool in this game the music is the music choice is well is excellent uh, the background are nice the perhaps nice is little touch determination of the levels are, are nice everything is awesome in this mode there is barely no um, imperfection and the difficulty of course is very is hard maybe harder than missing she but kind of lower but it's you can you are, you will have a great fun on it. I I swear you have a great great fun on it. I had a great fun on it and still today I'm I'm still playing it, and it's one of the best mods ever created in the category of Luxor mods. One of the best and of course it deserves this place of very good mod. Legend. I will just replace by by legendary. Legendary. Awesome, awesome, but awesome. The letters basic French speaking like awesome or sacred head. Mm. Anyway, the Latin space journey by Bobic. So, uh, that space journey it was a huge hype when uh, this mod were was out because it was the first time the mod has basically basically. Uh, full new path because Luxor 2016 had almost all the path from previous Luxor. It was Luxor 2 bonus path and some of them from Luxor 2 and Luxor, Luxor 2. Yes, Luxor 2 because the map of I Hate You, 11 4. But the music is God of the Complex Space, just that amazing. But sadly, some music are some kind of copyrighted so. When I did the let's play, of course, uh, my monetization didn't not, didn't like this, so enjoy. But it was very fine, space themed. Uh, they are cool. It's a cool mod to go. It's not too hard today. From today's perspective, it isn't hard at all. It's nice. It's cool. It's, I put it in nicely good. Next one, in Luxor Inator, I think. I. Told, someone told me, told me it was Luxor Hinator. I haven't played this mod. I haven't played I can just, I just seen some screenshot. I haven't played it. Many one day. Hinator Remixer, this mod. Okay, long story. Um, this mod went in a hat to use on, uh, on the Let's Play because stage 5. I just, and Kina had a game over on stage 5. I had to break down some kind of breakdown. I, it's a rich kit. But. I uh, I didn't have uh, the the faith to continue it at stage five. I did not want like brah not again. So I haven't uh, from until May. I did continue the the mod and finish it, finished it. Overall, very good mod. I like the evolved style. It's very nice. Uh, I like it as a reference like to uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure uh, King the Crimson Court. That I like this reference, I like the overall the level of King, King Crimson. Uh, I like the roundabout uh, reference. There was a lot of reference from from today cultures like Jojo's. Uh, from uh, from mods also like Instrument of Wisdom from my mod. And uh, Mystical Court from Quest for the Afterlife. It's a pretty well done mod. It's it's ins the inspiration come from from Luxor Evolved. When your inspiration come from Luxor Evolved and you actually manage to put this out very well, it can only give a very good mod. And I 
put it and I put this one on good. I choose on very good. Okay, next one, which sort not of touches his, this mod, total failure, this mod is crap, the bad ones are, you can say bad ones are nice, they're all very cool, but the difficulty is absolute garbage, it's trash, it's, it's shit, literally, as you can see my series at first went well, I did a break because I haven't, I didn't, I didn't found the time to play more of, of it, when I restarted it, it was like stage 5, I think, or 6, no, 7. Already at stage 7, I felt like the mob will, will go crazy. But before I did watch it, dumb uh, videos on it, and you know, dumb, it's like a god like a mixer, so it's, uh, for him, it's like an easy, easy for him, but for a casual uh, player, it's came to the, you play this mode, you start to go to stage like 9, 10, he sees his fa failure fail like a ton of time, game over, he wretched shit. And you can't uh, say difficult be difficulty because this is a Luxor 1 mod. Of the mod I'll, that uh, this is, this is, that is here is as someone Rising or Luxor 2. The difficulty is, if the difficulty is absolute garbage, uh, it's unbalanced, it's unfair, it's total unfair. And when I said the mod was unbalanced, but not the non imbalance, it, it, it tested the mod, so you can say that. But my my word was unfair. Everyone was like, yes, no, that's fake, I have to test it, you're a noob, man. etc. etc. Of course, they didn't take me too seriously because barely no one played the mod except some very good player. And now, when people actually saw how the mod is hard of my let's play, they realized this mod is very hard and it's not fair really not fair the missing ship you did have the choice uh, if you game over to start on a lower difficulty which God touches of his didn't had and and the mod is kinda incomplete since he doesn't have uh, a lot of Christian assets it's in a map pack uh, he basically put a quantity of a quality quantity of quality in the levels design but not the quality and the level balance totally not and that's why i had faith in the mod really i linkedin kind of liked this mod at first but when i saw difficulty going like crazy i said nope and i nerfed every level to very hard to very easy because i didn't want to bother with the series for like long that's why in basically all the episodes from starting from episodes from stage 9 are like four to five minutes long because this basically if i fail one time i cut i i cheat i uh I say it i cheat because it's so unfair so it's so no i cut i cheat I, then i retake the, the record stuff like that so that's why i actually tried to do the final level correctly i think i did i did but i fell at the last minute at the last second of the, of the last level i don't remember but weak weak it's nope that's not only the backgrounds that count as a good mode mod there are other difficulty me in my mod there's some difficulty mistake when i forgot to remove like a number and the impossible people tell me and i just correct the things i i nerf it so they can play it again without getting wrecked but yeah Bad, bad mod, don't like it. Luxor Chronicles by me, yes, a mod by me, oh. <laughs> okay, uh, this is one of my best Luxor mods I did. The bad ones are very organic, I said it, I... They were fun, it was fun to make the level series, the music selection was kind of, it fit well since you travel to Egypt, a bit of Persian, a bit of Greece. Uh, Bokram Adventures and Wonders and Luxor and Seven Wonders and Sakawa. Sakawa and. It was Sakawa? No. Uh, there was Bokram Adventure music, Book 1 and 2. There was Seven Wonders music, I think, on 
I think I don't remember. Whoa. Uh, I don't remember. Whoa. Well, I don't have several wonders Arabian Tim five uh three zero seven. Bokwan Aventure Volume Bokwan Aventure Bokwan two and I don't remember. Wow, I don't remember the music choice. The last one, the last danger zone. I think. Yep. Okay, I think I get it. Okay, never mind. But yep, it was nice. It's cool mod. It's decent. I think it's one of the best mod ever made. I it's one of my favorite. Maybe not my favorite. Maybe chapter three is my favorite, but. Uh, overall, uh, I like it. It's decent. It's decent to play. It's fun to play. Which source Pharaoh's Revenge Remastered? So it's a remastered of Rift of Fire's Revenge uh, that was made by Don in 2016. He remastered it on Ultra 2. What can it say? The graphics are just like amazing again. Very cool job done on the all Egyptian asset aspect. Very cool, nothing to say about that. Musical also very quiet. It's peaceful, but the only thing I have to say it's like it's, it's a bit long. I never bet in it because it was very long. I don't know if it's here will modify the wind condition or this is the game itself. A Turkstar 2 mainly it's very it's long at stage like four, five, six. I don't know why this is this is proba probably why I never completed it. So of course you get fun later stages like stage 14 or 14 or 12. Of course. But I like this mod, it's very good. Luxor Sky Patrol, a mod by me a part in mod. It's basically Atlantis Sky Patrol but in Luxor. Oh the idea was it's, it was an amazing idea that I just had in 2017. The first preview did like 3000 views and the second one did 21,000. I was like, why? Even if the preview was decent, it's like uh, some fireball glitch, the pyramid, the tunnels were like total shit. And uh, I don't understand, it was that like garbage. How it can get like 21,000 views? But. I did catch up this thing. I uh, I finished this mod in 2018. The mod was released in the same day as uh, as Don't Return to Pizza Island and Beyond. But I think, but well, it's decent. It's, it's it's one of my easiest mod. So yep, it's like cool. It's cool. I think. I don't know where where to put it. It's it's decent. Why I wanna bet all my mods will go in decent? Maybe. Oh, this one. This is not the remastered version, so bro. Luxor Sydney Request for the Afterlife. My first Luxor mod ever. A uh, port of Luxor Request for the Afterlife. What again? It was, my, it was my first mod. It has some. The story was shit. I say it, it's shit. It's uh, too many characters that disappear. Out. Like disappearing, as the pharaohs, the stuff, the teeth, the no, and my grandma and the cutscene were like, bro, made. I think I don't made the mistake of made it or made. No, I, at least not. But some grandma mistakes. Yeah, I mean, I did today more some mistakes, but it's less than before. Like I said in one of my comment, in one of my videos in the description, thanks to she instead of thanks to her when I saw this like two weeks ago I was like bruh why bruh that's a huge bruh and what can you say about the path the path where I had a lot of imagination of the path since I had all the, all the wall level of quest of the afterlife to to go with so that were good it's weak Weak, decent, ah, weak. It's not a good mod, but now we have Mario's Voyage by Stay 14 10. 
I think it's the last, the latest, latest mod released. So this mod I've done the SP on the channel, like by stage, stage one, two, three, four, etc. Um, it's a very cool mod. It's very nice. It feels like the, it's the it's a unique Luxor game, like Luxor game by Nintendo, but it doesn't feel like it's a mod. First of all, that is cool. I read it's cool. Um, I did a break on the, on the Let's Play because it was in school. And it was in a period in school where I, I had a lot of work to do. Actually, a lot, a lot. So I didn't have time to record uh, this game uh, that much. But as uh, Hinoka Remixer, May, you'll see the end with the levels. Levels were great. I loved it. So it's a good mod. It's like in. It's awesome, it's an awesome mod, so you can maybe... It's also it's very good, uh, it's very good. And there's a sequel that released soon, so you know what I mean, let's play. Of course, now we have not another Luxor remastered, oh another mod by Stage 14 H10, it was at least striking long but in Luxor, fun. It's a well, it's, it's a decent port in Luxor, I like it. It's one of my favorite mod. I like the aesthetics, the sound effects, the f stuff inside are cool. I enjoy playing this um, the remastered version a lot. And very fun to play, it's relaxing. It's obviously better than the original version, which the last level was basically... I think it was Arma Medido Pass, but with a sky, a lake, background and stars for the tunnels, I think it was that it was like, that was what the blur moment but I think it was she, it was her first mod, so I can understand but the master is very good it's very good, it's, it's decent and now we have Realm of Darkness, this mod is like, wow, it's it's a, the theme of the the theme of the mods is n basically never seen before. It's dark. It's like you are in a realm of darkness. The mod is realm of darkness. You are in a realm of darkness. It's darkness. All dar all of darkness. It's fun. It's very fun to, to play. It's difficult, but it's well fair difficult. It's not difficult as a bullshit a not a shit of his. Uh, it's fair and difficult. Uh, the thing is that apparently stage later level as stage 14 and 14 uh, had like more than 18,000 win, condi win condition uh, 800 so I was confused of 100 and thousand 800 uh, win condition and you didn't felt like you didn't feel I didn't really feel it was like this I really think it was the, or the original uh, six six zero zero win condition win condition. It was just amazing. It was a very good mod. I enjoyed playing this mod, and the music that come along is from Dragon Storm. You can it obviously the best. Just wow! And there's obvious there's I think a sequel. Yes, there's a sequel, and I will obviously play it. Realm of Darkness is one of my favorite mod ever. Of course, it's legendary. Sophie's Adventure 1.5 uh, The original, uh, it was Mod by Stage 40 10 The sequel to Stage Adventure Which Stage Adventure isn't in the tier list But Stage Adventure will put it in nicely good here And Luxor Mountain 16 I will also put it in nicely good So, Sophie Adventure 1.5 uh, cool mod, very cool background. I like it. Stage two levels because it was about dragons, stuff like that. Uh, I enjoyed playing this mod, and uh, red fan on it also. I completed this mod. All the mods you have seen here, are com I've beaten them. Beside uh, Luxor in a turn that I haven't played. Um, no, I haven't completed Luxor Pharaoh's Revenge. Not fully. But soon in the let's play maybe shoot. But Sophia 1.5 cool 
good graphics, good mods. It's it's challenging, not challenging hard, but challenging easy. It's challenging, but it goes in easy, not it goes in hard. So it's a decent mod. It's fun to play. I like it a lot. Nicely good. So now we have three or three last mod, which are all from me. Uh, for a moment because I don't know how to review my mods, I've made them so Senior for second journey chapter 1, the show must go on uh, this mod was the first time I made myself my own background for some levels that was the first time they were some of them were good, some of them were bad um, the story was okay, I think this was the sense that some of us were good. Uh, I had so a lot of fun to make it and, pl and play tested it. I've heard the feedback of the people. It was one of the, my good mods. It's fun, the music is okay. It's well, well. This is French for yeah. It's yeah. But from a uh, point of view of the player, I would say it's very good since uh, there's stuff that it's not too long, not too quick to play. You will feel like it's decently uh, well done in a way. So, yep, very good. So now we have seen for second journey chapter 3 the Storm Legacy, my last latest mod released. Uh, a lot of people said you are my best mod ever made. My best mod ever made, or the best mod ever made. No one, maybe no one can reach uh, Don Return to Pizza Island and Beyond levels. Maybe, maybe Dom himself, but no one. But uh, I used the new Sphere, maybe the Sphere made a difference from Dragonstone. And to not the steerers have then have the their hands on it. Uh, if you want to play the mod, you have to the DM me on Discord or ask me in Discord. I will give you the link of the mod, not of the sign of the to just stealers. And if they get this fair set, I will absolutely go mad. So nope. But anyway, uh, the levels were fun. I the levels uh, that I made here are very good. I like it a lot. The stage 14 levels like Shadow Rainbow, Crimson, Remnant, a lot of them were absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's again, it's one of my very good mods. So, yes. And now we have the last one Senior's Revenge. Oh, this mod. Uh, personally, I don't like this mod. It's like rushed. It's some. It's rich in a way, in, in a way, in a way, because I feel like I just slapped, slapped some, slapped some uh, over marble popping games. I just recolored it, and that's it. This is the mod. Some people actually, a lot of people said this is my best mod. This is also the hardest. Uh, but as I am this putting me in a. In a, in a player, and obviously the YouTube, the YouTube let's play as I, I did last year that have like worked very well. Almost all the episodes have reached like 1000 views. It was like, what? What? 1000 for each? Oh my god! How this happened? I'm glad you enjoy. I'm, uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the game, you enjoyed the mod, and I'm happy that you enjoyed it. Uh, I can say it's nicely good, it's decent. Nicely good. But again, I had some materials that I didn't... Uh, less materials than today's. Like, for setting journey chapter 3, I had many tools uh, to make the levels things because I'm more uh, experiment. And almost, almost all the levels aren't uh, Christian made, I think. Yes, I think all the level Christian made I used some assets from other games for levels. Kazami and Canadian gems, but whatever I will not use them anymore. Less I will less use them. 
but uh, Senior's Revenge okay, the story was cool and we have okay, it's, from me it's it's decent, it's weak, not not weak, decent but from the people it's nicely good so we have our tier list done like Legendary Awesome we have both the mods uh, nicely good, decent, weak and so stuff I haven't talked about this garbage, this bullshit next to my mod here, this thing uh, as I said for uh, Realm of Darkness some levels uh, win condition were higher than the usual than the Vanilla game, Luxor Summon Rising HD uh, Luxor Summon Rising I haven't felt it was longer, totally not because I had a lot of fun playing this mod even with the fails I still enjoyed a lot this mod, it's, I love it, it's amazing, it's beautiful, it's magnificent, wow, absolutely um, beautiful, this is an end for the other trash, piece of trash garbage, the levers, the wind condition were longer like than usual at stage 4, so stage 4 took an eternity alongside all the other stages, the wind condition was high here and that's basically a run for the fact that this mod suck the levels, you can say the levels are great but the difficulty and all stuff like that is totally trash but only not what does what um, what does make a good mod? A good mod is first of all a good gameplay, good backgrounds, good graphics, uh, a decent difficulty, not bullshit like this one here. Story if you want, not not obligatory, not not story if you want. Good gameplay, good graphic, good difficulty, decent difficulty, fun to play, not too long, which is Realm of Darkness. Launch with Tempest Island and beyond all the mods are, that are here, even if some of them are longer than usual, but whatever. So, that is what to make a mod good. So, it's 6 pm, I see. Okay, I don't want to stop the video here, but I think next time I'll do like which is the second with the most of votes. This is Luxor 12 with the most of votes. So, I will do that next time. I could do I I could do some do one of looks with Zuma mods but no because all of the Zuma mods are like trash garbage are no good uh, shit so nope no Zuma mod tier list all they will all belong to trash or to burn that shit down whatever so um yes <coughs> sorry I actually speak a lot I I've started to have a headache. Oh my god. So, uh, if you have again agree with Matthias, leave a like. If you don't agree, tell me why, why you don't agree. Like, uh, uh, Senior's Revenge have to go in the legendary of some. If <laughs> even no one will put my mod in the legendary, legendary of some. No one ever. Uh, but, yep. If you if you have some similarities with me, just tell me and where you will put uh, you this mod, where you will put this one or this one, as usual. If you want more to this video, just let me know with a like, just a like, and some comments because the two first video did work very well. That was surprisingly decent, uh, good. So yep. Don't forget to like the video, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. See you. Oh my god, my voice, my thing. Crap. I restart because boy, oh boy. If you have liked this video, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.